weather. Thanks, Adam. I'm uh, offering these, sh these shoes for maybe $5. <laughs> $5 for these shoes. They're a little used, a little stinky, but hey, they do the job. <laughs> I know. Hey, we have some fantastic video of the sunset from earlier this evening. Look at this. Oh, man. Wow. Stunning. Yes. Beautiful. For sure. Check the box on amazing colors and nature. Photojournalist Matt Rashley capturing this moment, this sunset on this Monday, the 18th. 40th anniversary of Mount St. Helens erupting. Some pretty cool stories online. Be sure to check them out on coin.com. And we have a rainbow picture. Thank you, Tim Moriarty, for sending in your rainbow. We love rainbows. And uh, we might have a few more rainbows happening for us this week. Let's take a look at that forecast. First, we're going to start off with our picture downtown Portland. Uh, we have, for the most part, some either damp or mostly dry roads. Your temperature right now is 55 in Portland. And Vancouver wind is out of the northwest at just six miles per hour. So we'll notice a little bit of that onshore flow, meaning winds coming from the west increasing later on tonight through tomorrow morning. So that's going to bring in some nice cool ocean air. And chance of showers for us here in the valley will be pretty much coming to an end here. Five o'clock in the morning, we're in the low 50s all the way through seven o'clock. We get to eight o'clock tomorrow morning, about 53. We'll break in the clouds perhaps by about nine o'clock and a temperature of 54 by then. Today's highs were definitely below normal and it will remain that way, at least through this coming Thursday, possibly Friday. So we hit 62 in Vancouver and Portland. Kelso, you got up to 67. We had more sunshine up there. Uh, we also had a whole lot of rain depending on where you were. In fact, Salem actually broke its old record for the day for rainfall, hitting 0.68 inches of rain. More rain on the way? Yeah, we'll have some more rain on the way, but I'd say uh, today definitely delivered it in a pretty big way. What's left over is this moisture wrapping around this area of low pressure. That area of low pressure is actually going to be moving to the south. As it does, it drags all this moisture with it. So we'll be saying goodbye to those thunderstorms for you in eastern Oregon. In the meantime, looking at a few showers left over for the foothills, and that's likely the pattern that we'll stick with here as we roll on through the next couple of days. Temperature-wise, we'll be in the mid to low 60s tomorrow afternoon. Mostly cloudy, but can't completely rule out the chance to see a few showers. Here's your seven-day forecast. Bit of a break, a longer break, Saturday with a high of 68. Also Sunday, but Sunday we bring back the rain for the second part of your weekend. Gwen 6 News, we'll be right back.